Hey guys, Corey here from Sky's the Limit Car Care, and today we're going to talk about O'Burke's Rinseless Wash. So O'Burke just came out with this new product. It's called O'Burke Rinseless Wash, and you can use this for a variety of applications. Obviously, it's a rinseless wash. It also doubles and triples as a quick detailer and a clay lubricant. So the cap is a half ounce. Um, so obviously if you're gonna do a uh, rinseless wash, then for every gallon of water that you put in your bucket, you're gonna put one cap of product. So what is a rinseless wash? Let's get into that a little bit. And then obviously, you know what a quick detail and a clay lubricant is. We're not really gonna get into that, but we are going to give you a demonstration on how to use a rinseless wash and why and when you would do it. So if all things being equal, say you have uh, no legal issues with using a hose, then in my personal opinion, it's still the safest method when you have bugs like this, or certainly when you have mud or anything worse than this. Uh, the, certainly for me, the best method is gonna be to use a, a hose and a wash mitt and then rinse it off and dry it with a towel. But not everybody has that. And uh, places like California, there's a lot of places where, uh, and even other countries where they can't use a hose in certain areas and uh, they have water restrictions that don't allow them to do so. So in that case, sometimes a rinseless wash becomes a necessity regardless of how dirty the car is. And so in that case, there is a way that on, on most paints, there is a way that, that you can safely uh, wash this area with a rinseless wash. So the hood here, that would be perfectly safe to wash with this rinseless wash. Um, as long as you use proper technique, I wouldn't have any concerns that I'm going to get any marring or anything like that on the hood. On the bumper, if you had really soft paint, then I would be a little more concerned that I might cause a little bit of micro marring on that area. With this particular paint, I don't believe that I will. I think it's going to be perfectly fine. These bugs are not bonded too horribly to it. It has been probably a month since I washed my car, unfortunately. And so some of them might not wipe off so easy, but they're not hard shelled bugs and they're not you know, really nasty bugs. They look a little bit softer. So I don't think that it's, it's that uh, big of a concern with these particular bugs. And it makes for a really good demonstration. So we're going to demonstrate here on the bumper, but I did want to make note that the hood is actually a perfect, um, regardless of where you live, a perfect instance of where you might use a rinseless wash. Um, rinseless washes save a lot of time. So even if you're in an area where you can use a hose, um, it's not necessarily the best thing to do. If you've just gotten dust and stuff on your car like that, and maybe a little spot like that, then this is gonna save time to use a rinseless wash because you don't have to wash, rinse it back off with a hose. You don't, you're able to control the area where all the water's getting. Um, if you have a limited amount of shade and the sun's coming and um, you don't have the, the shade that you need to keep the car um, uh, safe from water spots, then a rinseless wash can, can save you because you can just do it in your garage. So there's a, a variety of reasons where you would use that. Um, the other side of the equation is a waterless wash. So I kind of look at it like this. You have a waterless wash, a rinseless wash, and a bucket wash. A uh, bucket wash we've gone through at length in one of our other videos. Uh, waterless wash we've also gone through at length, and rinseless wash is kind of in between. It's usually a little safer than a waterless wash in most conditions, but not as safe as a bucket wash. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and do a demonstration and I'll tell you a little bit about some of your mitt and towel options that you would generally wanna use with a rinseless wash. So here we've got about two and a half uh, gallons of water already in our bucket. And so I'm gonna put half an ounce for the first gallon, half an ounce for the second gallon, and half an ounce for that other half a gallon. That's slightly over uh, what I need. I could have just used a half a cap full since it's only about two and a half, but really it's not a huge deal. If you're a little over, a little under, it's gonna work out great. I err on the side of going over. I'm gonna put my grit guard in. Actually, I'm gonna put my grit guard in my rinse bucket in this case, because we're not gonna get any dirt in this bucket. So we've got our grit guard in our rinse bucket over here, and our rinse bucket is full of just water and that's what we're gonna wash out all of our mitts and stuff in before they ever go into this bucket. So this, we're just gonna swirl up a little bit with our wrist, make sure that's nice and mixed. Now, when selecting your wash mitt or your towel, there's a few different methods that work. Uh, if you're gonna use just one mitt or one pad or one sponge for the whole car, 
Then I would recommend the Microfiber Madness Incredifiber. Uh, this one is the Incredipad. You could use the Incredi Sponge, the Incredi Mitt, whatever. But the fact is these fibers rinse out really well. And so that's why I like them for a rinseless wash. Uh, they're also really good at grabbing hold of bugs. And so I like that as well. Some people will use uh, a large amount of towels or multiple mitts. And in that case, um, something like the Chanel mitt, we sell these in, uh, in blue and yellow. Um, and these are pretty safe. Uh, some guys will take like five or six of these and then just have a bucket off to the side. They use one, they wash a certain area, they flip it over, they wash another area with it, and then they throw it in that, you know, throw it in that dirty bucket over there. And then they just do the whole car like that and then clean the, clean the mitts up later. So if you're in a production environment, that works good sometimes. Um, and then some people will use a towel and for that, something like this, like the Car Pro Two-Face or the Microfire Madness Slogger, depending on how dirty the car is, those will work really well too. I do like the towel method because there's so many different, uh, there's so many fibers on there and it's so much more uh, thick and plush than, than, uh, than a wash mitt. So with a rinseless wash, I do personally like using the towel method, but since I have bugs on here and I'm doing a little bit more than I would normally do with a rinseless, I'm gonna go ahead and use the Incredipad for the demonstration today. So obviously you wanna make sure that it's clean first. It was already rinsed, but we rinsed it out in there. Before you put it in your, in your uh, rinseless wash bucket, you wanna get the water out so you're not diluting your bucket. And then it's really quite simple. You just make sure to fully soak it in, submerge it in there, soak it, and then just like you would wash with a, uh, with a regular wash, you just kind of go back and forth over it. And of course you want to start real gently. I'm not trying to get that bug that's stuck on there off because it's, right now is the point where my mitt's going to be the dirtiest because there's all that dust and grime that I just got on there and I don't want to grind that into the surface. So instead I just went over it real gently and then now I'm going to flip it over. This side's dirty, this side's clean. There's still plenty of lubrication in here if I just give this a little squeeze and then I'm just going to give it a little bit, a little bit more pressure on that area just to get those little bugs right there. Another method you could obviously do is just do the whole panel gently and then come back and give it a little bit more agitation. But I'm not pressing hard even now. That's an important thing to do regardless of where you're at in any wash process is not to press hard and let the chemicals do the work. So now that's dirty. I'm gonna put it in here, rub it on the grit guard, flip it over, rub the other side on the grit guard dunk it a couple times and then normally I would just squeeze it out in that bucket if I'm in the garage obviously and then we take this dunk it back in our soap bucket which is our, our rinseless wash bucket from Oberk there and basically you just go over the whole panel so we've gone ahead and washed this bumper here it worked out pretty well uh, got all the bugs off pretty easily. I wanted to give you a couple more tips and then we'll finish up. Uh, so the reason that we have a grit guard in this bucket is because obviously there's gonna be a lot of dirt coming off of here and we don't want that dirt to get into here and then get reapplied back onto the paint and scratch the paint up. So we put the grit guard in there so that we can number one, rub the mitt on that grit guard to help loosen up and pull the dirt off of it. And then number two, any of that dirt that's, uh, that's swirling around in there, as it sinks to the bottom while I'm washing the next panel, it sinks to the bottom and it gets down below that grit guard where it won't get pulled back up and get back into the mitt. And that's the, that's the reason for the grit guard with the rinseless wash. So um, the, obviously the next step is to dry the car. You don't wanna just leave it like that um, because depending on the water that you have in there, you're gonna get water spots if you do that. So just like any kind of uh, car wash, you do want to go back and uh, and dry the, uh, dry the area. Typically with a rinseless wash, you'll dry as you go. So you'll wash a panel, you usually start at the top, wash a panel, dry it, wash the next panel, dry it, and so forth. So now that I'm drying it, I'm able to actually see a couple spots where there's some hard bug remains that I didn't get off. I'm not gonna go back and, um, and wash that again. What I'm gonna do is just use the uh, quick detailer or waterless wash mix that we made here and I can just spray that on my detailing towel like this and just get those spots off as I go that way I can isolate those little areas and if they're if they're really nasty and they've been on there for a long time 
Then you could use something like bug out, just squirt a little bug out on a towel um, if you're in an area where you can't hose. Uh, in this case, they're coming off. Rather than rub really hard to get them off quick, it's better to just gently go back and forth and let that work off slowly, unless you're gonna polish the car anyway. But if you wanna avoid scratching the car, then just let the microfiber do the work. That's what it's there for. So for drying towels, when you're, when you're, uh, when you're utilizing a rinseless wash, for drying towels, I like a smaller drying towel. You could certainly use, you know, uh, like a large chipmunk like this, um, but it's a little easier to handle if you use something small like the Dry Me Crazy Junior or the Chipmunk Junior. Those are really great for, for that. They're, uh, they're not like, you're trying to control the area and you might have, still have a dirty panel. Typically that would be washed first and this would be the dirty panel. But the point being, when you're going to dry one panel, you don't want to get that towel on the panel that's still dirty. And so it's re just really easy to control the, the drying towel like this. All right, guys, so that's pretty much all we have for today. Uh, really like the uh, Oberk Rinseless Wash, great product. Um, I like its cleansing abilities. It pulled the bugs off pretty easy for a rinseless wash. Um, good lubrication. I hope you guys enjoy it as well. Um, if you have any questions or comments, make sure to leave those below and we'll make sure to respond to those right away. If you haven't subscribed, make sure to do that. And uh, any links to the products we've used today, you'll find below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and we'll talk to you later.